Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 81 in Chapter 10. Chapter 10 is about rotational motion. And for this system, we can say initially the position is at A. Finally, the position is C. So we need to find the speed at the position C and the distance it moved is D, right? So what quantity is given? The radius of object is given. This are、uh, R capital R is the from the A to the C is given angle theta is given theta is forty five degree because it tells us the total angle is one five one three five one three five degree so this angle theta is just a forty five degree agree now we can see from position A to position C how can you find speed this time we can consider energy is conserved the initial energy for A is m Potential energy mg r not right from the reference point we choose as this line, so mg r not. Now comes to the position C. We can see first if we consider is potential energy. The potential energy is this one. We draw a triangle. So the distance from position A C to the reference point right, and so it must be the r not. This length minus this part, so we can change the corner. Minus this part. So how can you find the distance for this part? We can consider this is a triangle, right? And this is length, this side times cosine theta is this side, and then this side how much is r naught minus small r naught? Agree? Because the total is r naught, and it is just this side, so minus small r naught. Then we get the potential energy for the C, and then the kinetic energy for C include the linear kinetic energy and the rotational kinetic energy. Now we check our textbook. We can find the momentum of inertia for this object is this one, and omega relationship between omega and v is this one. So we input I and omega inside. You can simplify the function as this one, and then you solve the equation. Get the velocity v. At the position C, one point six meter per second. The next one asks you the distance d. How much d covered? So d covered, we can consider this point as reference point x equal to zero. And then when at the position C, of course this object will keep moving. It will do project motion. Do you agree? So we project the velocity v into component. This angle is theta. So of course, we can get is a v cosine theta as this angle is the theta, right? And then we project the velocity in x component and the y component. Then the initial position for x. So initial position for x is this one, right? This one is the length for this side. The length for this side is capital R minus small r sine theta. This side, and the initial position for y component we just did in previous, right? The distance for the c to the reference point, this one. Now we can consider for the project motion, the acceleration on x component is zero, on y component is the gravity g, negative g. Then you input the known quantities x naught v x v o x y naught v o y inside. Then you can solve these two equations. You find the D. Thank you.